Polls, politicians and the markets. Many were sure the UK would vote to stay in the European Union. Then came the results. Let June the 23rd go down in our history as our Independence Day. British people have voted to leave the European Union. Investors were shocked. The pound has been pummeled and the markets have also fallen sharply. Sterling hit a 30-year low and the FTSE 100 dropped 8% as the market opened. The sell-off wasn't limited to the UK. Within 24 hours, more than $2 trillion was wiped off global stock markets. The slump was short-lived. Markets rebounded, at least until October. The British pound is having a rocky few hours after tumbling to seven-week lows. With a Brexit timetable in place, sterling stabilised. And the UK economy's resilience confounded forecasts. Since August, demand growth has been materially better than expected. With at least two years of negotiating to go, you can expect more market highs and lows to come.